Who's ready to go see bald eagles? Yeah. All right, great. Welcome to the Blue Heron. A cold mist is covering the Cumberland River as we set our sights on what we anticipate to be a most memorable journey. Now, what color is a baby bald eagle? Although we are at capacity crowd with a group of homeschool children, it's the parents and particularly my dad who are excited about this trip. He's 70 years old and has never ever seen a bald eagle, not even in captivity. I didn't realize we had that many. Um, it's just, it's just amazing, really. Just such a large bird. Amazing that more and more of them are making their nests and mating for life right here in Tennessee. Yeah, I got closer. Now look, look, there he goes again. Look. Bald eagles have come a long way since 1978 when they were listed as endangered. Now they're thriving and finding instinctive and clearly logical reasons to stay in the South. We've got a lot of lakes, we've got a lot of rivers, and um, since eagles eat 75% of their diet are fish, and turtles and coots and waterfowl and things like that, so we have an abundance of wildlife, so uh, I'm sure it's the food. Their regular feeding, nesting, and breeding habits have become bona fide business for the Blue Heron crews in Ashland City. If you can bundle up and brace yourself against Tennessee's often temperamental temperatures, an eagle sighting is all but certain. We've seen as many as three pair of eagles up here, all bald eagles, and uh, they've been around so long there's bound to be more and more as the years come on. Yeah, that's what I've been wanting to see all day. It's beautiful. It's just breathtaking, isn't it? <laughs> It's amazing. I was really excited because I haven't seen that many eagles. I've only seen one in the wild before. The children's excitement is contagious, but there's another way of looking at these eagles. On the other side of the river, there's a walking trail called Eagle Pass. If you can hike the mile and a half, there's another great view, but now, I'm going to have to give in to the old cliche and tell you that for almost a decade, one Cheatham County family has had a bird's eye view. And we watched them prune the tree and then build the nest and consequently have a young. And uh, we've watched them for the last eight years. Mornings at the Lockhart House are anything but mundane. And the action underway on the big screen is reality TV at its rarest. The nest is about five and a half to six feet across and about three feet deep right now, and they add to it constantly. A pair of eagles and their occasional offspring are captured on camera with the use of a high-powered telescope. From this vantage point, high up on a bluff overlooking the river, Mr. Lockhart has been able to spend many hours studying the curious habits of these incredible creatures. They can't ever agree on where a limb needs to go, and they'll move limbs around and around and around, and it's pretty funny. A well-kept journal details the days and the lives of these two bald eagles and their babies, but just watching them has revealed a side of these raptors you might not necessarily expect. I think the most unusual thing is that I didn't realize how good a parents they are. I've seen them drop out of the nest and be back within a minute with a fish. When the eaglet flies, one or both of the parents will go with the eaglet and they'll continue to feed it in the trees or wherever it lights, and then eventually it learns how to catch its own prey. Flap your wings! From the warmth of a kitchen back down to the wet and cold river, we are still caught up in the moment, somewhat reluctant to leave. I'd just like to see them more now. It was really neat. I liked it. It's fascinating. It's just what, what God can create is just, it's amazing. Just can't, can't put words around it really. No words are needed when you can just watch. I'm Annette Noel Hall on Tennessee's Wild Side.